Hey everybody, this is Kelsey with Beyond Labs. Let's take a quick look at the titration lab bench in the GenChem lab module and what you can interact with specifically in this lab bench by clicking on it, how you can maneuver the different tools that are available to you and so forth. This will be fairly basic, just cover some of the essentials you can sort of develop your skills and your understanding of how the modules work by going through and testing it yourself and, and doing some of the experiments. The first things that are, I'll point out are things that you will see in all of the lab benches in chemistry and in most of the other lab modules as well. The first thing that, that is included in that list is this lab notebook. Your lab notebook will usually be on the lab bench or here on the stockroom counter. And to access it, you simply click on it here. And we'll say open lab book. And it will provide your window here where you can type in your observations and also where if you have saved a graph or some other sort of data, you will be able to see it here. And you can pull it up, make specific notes on it there, and of course look back on it after you've completed the experiment or moved on. The next thing is this bell on the stockroom counter here. This bell will allow you to access the help menu for the specific lab bench that you're in. So for example, we're in the titration lab bench. When you click on the help menu bell, it brings up the titration help menu specifically, gives you a bit of an overview, and then you have more sections here on the left-hand side about specifically the titration lab bench that will provide you with more information about working with different aspects of the lab bench, what they do, what assumptions are made, what sort of errors exist in the different equipment and so forth. And so that's how you access that. Next, we have this red bin here that will be somewhere either in front of or next to the lab bench. If you click on the opening of this bin, it will clear everything that you have on the lab bench at one time. So if you have any reagents, any reactions going, in this case any titrations, as soon as you click on this opening it will clean everything out, put it all away, and it will be back to the bare starting lab bench. So you only want to do this if you need to start over and don't want to do it if you're correctly moving through the experiment. You can also take specific things on the lab bench and drag them to the trash and in that case those individual items will be removed and not they won't clear the entire lab bench it will just get rid of specifically what you're carrying over there you'll notice that with the bell and the lab notebook and this bin here when you roll over the object with your mouse um, the cursor turns into a finger rather than maintaining the mouse icon. This means that it's something that you can interact with. And so you can use this principle as you're looking through the rest of the lab, as you hover your mouse over different things in the lab. Once it once the mouse turns into a hand, then you know that you can interact. So for example, this is the pH meter right here where it says that we have this on off button is something we can interact with. And so we can turn on the pH meter by clicking there and you can see it changed the color of the light, the light is now green as you would normally see, and then it also has, we have a pH reading window that's now popped up here. So we can turn it back off just by closing the window or by clicking on that button again. A few, <clears throat> the last thing that is common to most of the lab modules is the exit window. And so in order to go back to the main menu of the chemistry lab module, you wanna click on this exit button here like so. Now specific to the titration lab, let me just cover a couple of the things that you will likely be using. You can see there are these two drawers down here in the front, one with beakers, and these beakers can be clicked on and brought out to the lab bench and set down anywhere you can see a highlight when you're clicking and holding the beaker. So we'll pull that one out. And then in this other drawer we have volumetric pipettes, which you can use to measure specified volumes of water or aqueous reagents, whatever it might be that you need to do. 
We also have these graduating cylinders here in the back. You can see when you roll over them, it tells you the volume that they measure out. These can also be used to measure liquids in the lab and can just be moved by clicking and dragging, similar to how you do how you move the beakers. <clears throat> in the center of the screen, we have our burette set up with a stand and a stir plate underneath it. The burette stopcock can be operated simply by rolling over the stopcock and clicking and dragging, changing the angle to change how open the stopcock is, just as you would with a real stopcock on a burette. When you have a beaker with liquid and you're ready to begin a titration in the lab, you can turn on the stir plate by clicking this stir plate switch and you will be able to see your liquid mixing in the beaker, which is what you will want to have happening during a titration to keep things quickly moving towards equilibrium. There is also this analytical balance here on the lab bench. If you click on the balance, it will bring a zoomed view of the balance. You have some whey paper here, you also have a spatula, and when you bring a reagent from the stockroom, you can place it right here next to the balance so that you can see it and you can drag a piece of whey paper and put it onto the balance and you'll get a mass. You can tear the balance to set it to zero and then you can weigh out a specific amount of your reagent and record that amount and then take this paper off with the reagent, pour it into your beaker or wherever else you're you need to put it um, to work through that. So that's the close-up of the analytical balance. We also have on the back wall, you can see that there's a poster. If you roll over it, it's an indicator chart. And if you click on it, it'll bring up a larger version of it. And it will show you the different uh, pH indicators that we have available in this lab bench specifically and the colors that they are at specific pHs so that you can have an understanding of what pH your solution is at during a titration when the indicator changes color. The last major thing to cover in this specific lab bench is the stockroom. The stockroom can be accessed simply by clicking anywhere in the open stockroom window. You click on it and it will bring you a closer view of the stockroom. And here you can see there are a number of reagents that can be used in the lab. When you're doing a worksheet or a preset activity, it's likely that these the specific reagents you will be using for that experiment will already be put out on the lab bench for you. But if they are not, then you can come back here to the stockroom and specifically grab the bottles that you need that have the reagents that you need to do your reaction. And to get them out to the lab bench, you simply click and drag them to the counter and then click this return to lab button. And now you can see in this example, our hydrochloric acid bottle is now accessible. We can click it, bring it out here to the lab bench and we can start measuring the liquid and using it for our experiment. So that's just a brief overview. There are many other things in this lab bench and in the others that can be interacted with. Again, use the rule of rolling your mouse over and if you can see the hand, that means it's something you can interact with and something that you can use, something you can look closer at, something you can measure, etc.